Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be dealing with and talking about carpenter bees. One of the things we've learned about moving further south and owning a home that has wood on it is that you can have problems with carpenter bees. Carpenter bees generally won't bother you too much. The males can't sting. The females can, I believe. But the problem is, is they will do a lot of damage to your wood. So that is our problem. So first things first, I'm gonna try to find the nest. I think I know that there's already a nest on our deck over this way. We also believe they have a nest up in our, kind of the wood up in the roof. So I'm gonna go see if there's a bee hanging out over there. Take y'all with me real quick. See, I don't know if y'all can see him up there. He's a big boy. Like I said, They're pretty docile. They'll generally just kind of bump into you if you go near their nest. Yeah, he's definitely got a nest over here. I think he's protecting. So what I'm gonna be doing today, try to build my own carpenter bee traps using mason jars and some scrap wood and hang those up. Generally, they're supposed to be, be effective about every 15 feet or so. So we're gonna need quite a few around here to cover our deck. I'm gonna show you the wood that I've got for it. Unfortunately, it is treated wood. I was reading online that they tend to gravitate towards untreated wood. I've also heard that generally they won't really care most of the time. If it ends up looking like their nest, they will go in there and then basically they go up at an angle. They drop down the center, they get into a little jar and bye bye. This is the greenhouse that was here. Let uh, They let it go into disrepair, probably just due to being too busy as all of us are. So we've started to put some of our scrap wood out here and I found two pieces that are stinking perfect for creating carpenter bee traps. I found these two pieces and I think they're gonna be perfect. I'm gonna have to sand them to get the paint off. But these will just be perfect, at least based on the design that I found online. So I'm going to be cutting these bad boys down, I think to about four inches each, cutting holes in them. So again, kind of uh, diagonal holes upward to a center hole. The carpenter bees climb up into that hole, drop down, and they can't find their way back out. They're not smart enough to get back out. We just can't have these carpenter bees damaging our siding, damaging the side of our house, our roof. They've put some holes in our deck and they can cause a lot of damage and they can actually cause structural damage if they cut through. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Take you along with me, show you how I build them and hopefully they're gonna work. I guess we'll do a follow-up video where I'll show you if I catch any carpenter bees. But let's go, let's get started. I'm gonna sand, sand these bad boys down first, cut them to size, drill the holes, add a jar basically and uh, you'll, well, you'll see a little thing so. So we're all set now to take our post here that we're gonna cut up into four inch pieces and turn into our carpenter bee traps. And through the magic of time lapse, it's gonna happen lickety split. I'm probably gonna call it there. I definitely underestimated how long it would take to do this and just how hard it would be to get the paint off. As you can see, I was able to get what about as much as I could get off of here, I think, with what I've got. I think I would need a belt sander. So hopefully that'll be good enough. It'll still be enticing to, to the carpenter bees. So let's go cut this down. I think about, like I said, about four inches each. Then we'll drill our holes, attach the hooks on the top and attach the jars for catching carpenter bees. Now that we have our wood pieces cut into four inch, well I guess pieces. So we've got six of those, we've got six jars. Now it's time we get to use the drill bit. One thing that I've learned is that I'm going to need a wood drill bit. <laughs> My half inch drill bit is not gonna be enough. I need a wood drilling bit. So we're gonna fast forward. I'm gonna run the Lowe's sometime this week and we're going to drill these holes because it's gonna take forever with this drill bit. It's just take too long. 
This is how you learn. You do silly things like try to drill into wood with a half inch bit. You try to drill like a three inch hole and it just takes too darn tootin' long and not using the right tools. That's how I keep learning, doing stuff like this. Yeah, I guess I will see you guys in a few days, but fast forward for you, it's going to be moments due to the power of video editing and the interwebs. See, that didn't take so long, did it? Back from Lowe's, I have the correct half inch wood drill bit. So let's get to drilling. Whew, that took much longer than I thought it would. So I have all of my holes cut. Now it's time to take the top for the jar and attach it to the bottom hole. So I'm gonna need to cut a hole in here as well, put in two screws. So I may try to take a nail and first kind of set a hole in here, because otherwise this guy's gonna wanna hop all around the place. So I'm hoping if I pop a little nail through there, give myself a guide hole to start with, that will help it be smooth. And we'll attach this bad boy onto there. After that, we'll put the hook on top and go hang it up outside and claim victory. Figure I'll just do the other ones later, just complete at least one whole carpenter bee trap, put it up so y'all can see the finished product. Cool. So now that we have that screwed on and we've got our hole drilled, like this. <laughs> How cool is that? I made this myself. So now we're gonna put the hook on top and go hang this bad boy up. <sighs> okay, so it's the moment of truth. First, I wanna take a little look at it again. Look at that beauty. It's not pretty, but it's gonna get the job done. Right, that's the important part. Look at it. All right, here's our hook. Moment of truth. Ah. So here we go. It's hung up, we can claim victory. I'm going to go and finish the other five of these. Hang those up as well, and then so you guys, in the future, we're going to do a follow-up video where we'll see if we're able to catch any carpenter bees. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click that like button. That helps us out a lot. If you want to be notified the next time we drop a new video, hit subscribe and then hit that bell icon. Thanks. Talk to you again soon.